Ah, new hasin yung lahat. You're here with me, Alex Corner, and welcome to the Trading Comedy, where anything is an opportunity if you know where to look. And for today, we're going to do a quick charting session. This recess, today is Feb 20. So last night, I did a survey, a poll form by Google Forms. Okay, I sounded redundant back there. And then yun, I created a list of stocks that you guys might want to take a look at. And then, yun, may sumagot naman, buti naman. <laughs> so, we're gonna look at the answers. And you could probably follow my Facebook page if you want, if you don't want to miss my analysis and stuff, ganun. Okay, so, we're gonna look at the responses. So, yun, binak ko na may disclaimer. So, looking at this. Okay, let's see. What do you guys want? Okay, ISM. We have ISM. We have IRC, CHP, MAC. Fruit Annie Home. Okay. Then let's get to it. Let's get started. Siguro ihuli natin yung pinaka-requested. But yeah. Looking at the index right now, ano ba nangyayari ngayon? Um, yeah. So it gapped up today. Probably because of ABS, which I, I will be explaining in a bit. Kasalanan yan yung Duterts. Ganun. Hindi <laughs> niya daw papasara yung ABS. But anyway, we're gonna look at the chart after looking at the index. So, Friday is gonna be crucial, guys. Because for me, it needs to at least break this level over here. Itong 7.5. If it breaks out 7.5, we might have a quick bull rally for next week. But if it resisted, ayun. Wala. Bearish pa rin ako. <laughs> Yun ang gusto ko talaga sabihin. Eh, no? But anyway, let's get started. Um, tingnan natin tong mga sinag sinagot niyo sa form. <clears throat> but I wanna start with ABS kasi yun yung medyo mainit ngayon. Saka nasa watchlist ko rin siya. So, yan. nag na siya. <laughs> yun lang masasabi ko. Um, nag, nag-signal yung parabolic sar dito. Let me get rid of the Donchian channels para sumakita niyo. Okay. Yan. Ito na yung nangyayari sa kanya. So, I'm expecting a quick pullback for this one. And if we're gonna draw a Fibonacci retracement over here, Nandito banda yung pullback area niya. Actually, na parang na feel nga din yung gap niya kanina. Kanina gap up kasi siya. So, na feel din yung gap. But if you want to expect a pullback for ABS sa mga wala pang pwesto nito, ah, you could probably enter here dito sa binibigay ng retracement. Or if you're kind of a high risk person, you want to enter here at 78.6%. So, it's really up to you guys. As for the uh, market depth, let's see the bull and bear meter. Does anyone want to sell now? They want to buy. <laughs> okay, bulls are in the lead. Let's see if we can look at significant levels here at the market depth. So far, wala pa ako nakikita. Like maybe 18. Ayan, maraming nakapila dito sa 18 part. So, probably they're guessing the bounce points gonna be here. Pero kasi walang significant harang din. So, maybe they're not making it obvious. So, for this one, yeah, it's probably going to pull back. But if it doesn't pull back, and you want to buy on breakout, let's say you want to buy at this level over here, you can expect a TP of up to 26, 25 to 26, which is also a fast resistance over here last January 2019. So you can take a look at that as well if you want to play this. So it will give you a yeah, 15% upside, not so bad. But again, the index is not really in a bullish sentiment right now. So it's more of a bearish sentiment, so ingat lang kayo guys. Okay, if you want to play ABS. But yeah, my initial analysis for this one is gonna pull back somewhere here and probably retest this resistance over here. Or if we're lucky, if it breaks out, it might give us a higher upside. Okay. So, we're done with ABS. Let's see what you guys chose for today's starting session. So, thank you so much, guys, for taking the time to answering the survey. Okay. So, yan, dugo na English ko. Magtatagalog na nga ako. So, yan, tingnan natin ano bang gusto niyong tingnan dito. So, we're gonna look at home, fruit, and ani. So, let's, get, let's begin with home. Let's start with home pala, I mean. So, home, ano nangyari? Ayan, it's pulling back, actually. Uh, this is actually also in my watch list. And initial, ano ko dito, is actually like a cup and handle. So, ito yung cup. Ina-assume ko ito yung cup. 
And then what I did here is I drew a retracement from this res- last candle over here, tong mahabang candle, up to here. And then, yeah, I'm actually looking for the bounce point. So it looks like this one is the probable bounce point or even 10. Kasi nakita ko sa bidden as nung isang araw, ayan, wala, konti na pala harang sa 10. Pero kasi nung isang araw, hinaharang nila to. So, <clears throat> these are the levels that you would probably watch out for. But again, if you're a high-risk person, you want to enter at 78.6%, I guess that's doable, but upside really, you won't get much upside if you enter from there. Yan. It's a decent swing. It's not, hindi siya yung, ano, wow, pero parang pwede na. <laughs> but kung pullback pa rin yung hanap nyo dito, you could try and wait around 50% to 61.8%. And since this is like a cup and handle, yung handle binubuo pa. So, we're not sure if buo na talaga yung handle. So, we're just observing it for now. And, ano ba ba? Yan, untog din yung RSI. Hindi pa siya ganun kalakas for me. So, probably, kung ako to, I would rate at the breakout of this one. Pero yun nga, ito yung magiging next, ano niya, resistance, which is so, sobrang liit lang. Sa kasakto rin, golden ratio. But observing here, dito sa Lazy Elliot retracement natin, hindi naman siya tumama sa 38.2%. So I'm guessing na it won't most likely hit here. It won't resist, I mean. Hindi siya magre-resist agad dito. It might break out until here, dito sa projected wave 3 area natin. So yeah, it's probably a new all-time 52-week high. Pero again, guys... <laughs> observe din the index, huwag kayo masyadong maging overly optimistic. Baka yung realistic TP lang niya hanggang dito muna. Since yun nga, hindi pa tayo ano, bullish talaga sa buong PSE. So, we're kind of defensive for now. <laughs> Pero kung malakas naman conviction nyo to play and hold until it reaches these prices, then go ahead. So, that's my review for home. Yan, nag-iingay na aso ko. Galit siya sa kay home. Magka magalit! <laughs> so, yeah. Let's proceed. Let's go with... Okay, I guess we can go for Annie first before we go with fruit. So, Annie, it's like gumagawa siya ng mini cup and handle. If we're going to... Yeah, parang mini cup and handle yung nakikita ko sa kanya. At least for me, ayan o. Ito yung cup, handle, probably this one. So, hindi ko rin sure kung buo na iba yung buong cup or talagang aarangkada na siya. But this is my initial plot for Annie. I actually plotted using the weekly and then I drew a lazy Elliot again here. I think I started from here hanggang dito. And what did you guys observe? Nag-bounce off siya sa ito. 261.8 <laughs> So, we're looking at a quick swing if you're gonna look at this short term. Kung dito kayo pumasok sa bandang 7, dapat nakaalis na kayo probably dito. Ayan no? Sell on strength. Pwede dito, nakaalis na kayo. Or probably some of you guys are waiting for the price to hit 9 for those who entered early. But if you guys are expecting a breakout, yeah, which I really don't recommend nga. Kasi nga, hindi naman tayo bullish nga ngayon sa PSE. More on bounce plays tayo and swings. <laughs> so this is a good swing play for me, for Annie. Pero kung ano, mat- matibay kayo, matapang kayo, you might want to watch for 9.5 as the next resistance. So, pag nag-break out yun, pwede kayo siguro dito pumasok. Then, probably take profits at around here. Dito sa binibigay ng Lazy Elliot retracement natin. It's good upside is either way. So, yun. And the downside for Annie, it might continue to go down. Kasi malakas pa talaga yung overall downtrend niya sa bigger picture if you look at this. Malala yung tulo niya. So, <laughs> probably bababa pa to. Okay. It might go as low as this one. Yung binibigay ng 30, itong level na to. 2 point something. 2.66. Pero ito yung ano niya talaga. Pinaka main support. It's around 5-ish. I'm actually waiting for it to hit 5. Since, ayun. Yun nga, sobrang bearish niya. Pasa paningin ko. I don't really want to play this. <laughs> for a- Ako lang yun, guys. Pero kung may time kayong parang tutukan tong ani, why not? Why not play it? Pwede naman. May short-term play somewhere here. Pero kung ngayon nyo lang to nakita, I suggest just 
wait for it to revisit 7 at least para maganda yung ano nyo, magiging upside nyo if ever you want to swing this or not. So, yan. I guess that that wraps up my review for Ani. So, let's go with fruit. So, ito yung nakapwesto sa akin ngayon sa colport ko. I mean, colport ang tatay ko. Well, wala na akong position sa so I'm managing my parents' money. Ganun. So, ito na yung nangyayari kay fruit. I actually entered that around 1.88 ano yata. Wait lang. Let me draw it. Alam ko, ito yung last drawing ko. This is the last yeah, this was my last drawing. I kinda entered at the break of... Ano? Nasaan ba ako? Nag-enter ako sa breakout nito actually. Itong breakout ng 100%. Kasi nakita ko rin tong doji nung isang araw. Na bounce siya. And it's actually holding the parabolic. Sorry if you observed. Uptrend pa rin siya mga kaibigan. And... Yeah, it's actually forming a cup and handle. Actually, buo na yung cup. Yung handle na lang yung hinihintay ko. Ayan. Nag-breakout na rin yung handle, actually. <laughs> Marami pa, ulit-ulit ako. Pero yan yung nangyayari sa kanya. And if we're going to measure the cup, technical analysis, she's nits. Ayan. Hanggang dito yung cup, kung ganyan yung measure. And then if you're going to move the cup here, ito yung typical level na dapat abutin niya which is actually in confluence with my Lizzie Elliott retracement. Yan, projected wave 3. Yung paningin ko dito. Okay, if we're gonna look at Elliott. Okay, but if we're gonna be realistic, just take profits at around here sa 2.40. Kasi yun din naman yung pinapakitang pass price. So, don't follow this for me. Ah. Wag, nyo, wag kayo masyadong ma-attach dito sa idea na to sa trade plan idea na to. Okay. Lalo na pag meron naman siyang pass price. Siguro pwede, pwede niyang patulan yung levels na to if, yun, if IPO siya, as in fresh IPO. Siguro pwede niyang patulan tong level na to but since meron na siyang pass resistance sa sobrang nakita naman natin yung DNA niya, di ba? Hinuhulog niya pababa. So, probably just take profits around here. Or just to be on the safe side dito sa 141.4 if you're a bit conservative. So, that's my review for fruit. Let's check on, ano ba, MAC, IRC, CHP, okay. MAC, yun yung nakasagot sa survey. We're gonna look at it. Yeah, MAC is actually doing well, I guess. Nag, may ano siya dito. nag ano lang siya dito. Konso. I guess maganda siya. Dahil nga rin dun sa Sangli, ano. And I'm not sure kung tapos na yung buyback program nito. Last check ko, alam ko, konti na lang yung buyback transactions nito. Let's see. Let's actually look at the edge. Kaya ko rin siya pinatulan at first. And yun, nasayang lang yung entry ko dito. Because I was expecting na mag, mas magbe-breakout siya dito. Kaso, di inabot yung gusto kong TP. I was actually aiming at 13. Kaso nung isang araw nakita ko biglang binuhos niya pa baba. So, nasayang yung entry ko. But anyway, ito na lang yata natitira. Mm-hmm. Ayan, konti na lang mabubuo na nila yung buyback program nila. So, let's see what happens after they release another disclosure, I guess, about the Sangli, ano ba yun, yung Sangli Airport. Six days ago, nag ano rin sila, naglabas sila ng balita. Ayun, there you go. Ayan, my selection chuchu. Actually, connected to sa cyber. <laughs> Which I got stopped out in again for the second time. So, hindi ko na pinapatulan si Cyber. Kasi two times na ako natalo. So, I don't wanna revenge trade on that. But if we're going to look at Cyber later, makikita nyo na high risk bound siya. So, anyway, going back to Mac, ito yung nakikita natin sa kanya. If we're gonna draw a lazy Elliot retracement over here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so you can watch probably 10. Ayan. Medyo nagpo-pullback na naman siya. But look at the volume, hindi naman ganun, hindi naman parang for me pullback yung ano niya for today, yung play niya. Saka less volume siya compared to the previous days. So probable levels that you could catch are these ones. So just set your stops accordingly kung gusto niyo siyang saluhin. So kung 61.8 kayo papasok, yan siguro ganito yung risk management niyo. Kung 50% baka hanggang dito or 38.2 hanggang dito. But I'm guessing it might hit at least 38.2% kasi meron siyang past mini support dito na baka i-revisit niya to. So that's just me. 
and ito yung magiging TP niya at 14-ish ayan dito if we're going to consult our lazy Elliot retracement and if you're gonna assume this thing as a wave 1 okay so let's see at kung valid wave 1 ba siya I think malalaman ko din if valid wave 1 siya so let me get rid of this so you can see kung paano ko siya ginagawa so I draw from here ayan Ito yung assume wave 1 ko. Itong 10.45. Tapos ang bounce off siya sa 38.2. So, we're gonna draw the wave para makita niyo yung magic ng Lazy Elliot retracement natin. So, ito yung 1. Ito yung 2. So, if I see it bounce off 38.2%, I'm guessing wave 3 would hit 161.8. Which actually happened. Nakita niyo to. Ayan, nauntog. So, mali yung ano ko dito. Tipihan. Dapat dito na ako ng tipi nung isang araw. But anyway, ito yung nangyari ulit. And then if we're gonna look at 4, nandito siya nag-bounce off sa 61.8 and then it resisted here, near dito sa projected wave 3 ng Lazy Elliot natin. And now it's doing a, like an ABC correction. So, tanggalin natin tong retracement na to para makita niyo yung magic na naman ito. So, I'm guessing this is like wave 1 already. May wave 1 na dito. Itong, I guess itong part na to wave 1 na to. So yeah, mukhang tama yung sinabi natin na it might, it might revisit 10-ish levels. Ito. Ayan, no? Guys, ito nga yung papaglaruan nyo. So if we're gonna dissect this intraday, my friends, ayan na yun. A, B, siguro ito yung mini B, and then C would probably be here. O, diba? Ang galing ng lazy area retracement natin. So, yan. Ito na yung aabangan yung levels for MAC. At a quick glance. Okay. So, next, last ano na tayo. Ano ba? Last three. We have CHP, IRC, and ISM. So, huhuli ko yung IR. Yung ISM. Kasi yun yung pinaka-requested. So, let's go with CHP for a bit. Ano nangyayari kay CHP? Actually, maganda nga yung distribution nito. It's worth worth the patol. <laughs> Ayan, no? Uptrend na yung parabolic sar. Tapos, if we're gonna look at, I don't know, if we're gonna look at intraday here. Actually, this came from a very deep downtrend as well. Let's draw the lazy Elliot retracement. I'm gonna find the pivot point. Probably this one. Ito hanggang dito. And would you know, yan, tumatama pa dito. Nag-bounce off siya dito sa bottom fishing area natin. If you plotted it this way, but I guess some of you might plot it another way. Siguro yung iba sa inyo, ito yung iti-treat nyo as a pivot point. Kasi yan, nauntog siya dito. Feeling ko mas tama nga itong plot na to. Kasi tingnan nyo yung 261.8 to. Nag-bounce off siya din siya dun. So you can do th this plot as well. So sobrang subjective din kasi nitong retracement na to. But anyway, meron siyang quick play. So ito lang yung nakikita ko sa kanya. If you guys entered that 1.5, assuming that dun nga kayo nag-enter, just to confirm the bounce. Yan, ito yung pwede yung potential upside. Hanggang 2 at max. Okay, hanggang 2 at max, yun ang masasabi ko guys. Or near 2. So pwede kayo dun mag-set ng TP. It's actually, maganda rin yung upside dito. So yun nga, nagkoconso-konso lang siya dito. Pero yung caveat nyo lang dito, dapat hindi na siya mag-break mag-break down sa 1.30 kasi yun yung pin parang pinaka-support na pinapakita niya. So, if it breaks down yan, mag-ingat na kayo lalo. <laughs> and looking at the weekly, wala naman siyang, ayan, parang wala siyang recent low din sa baba. So, medyo ingat lang kayo. And let's see. May divergence ba to? Parang meron. Yeah, there, there's actually also a divergence here. Ayan. There's a bullish divergence. So, probably paninindigan niya. Ayan, pinapanindigan na nga niya actually sa weekly. So, I guess this is a, ano, this is worth playing <laughs> for me. Pero kung, ayun, kung, no, kung ayaw niyo yung mafomo dito, I'd suggest wait for the breakout na lang siguro ng 1.65 kung ito, kung ito yung papakita ng parabolic SAR. Ayan, no. Saka, in-confluence din siya dito sa MA9 if we're going to show it to you guys. Ayan, ganyan. So, yun. <coughs> Yun yung pwede yung expect dito for CHP. Kung may tiwala kayo sa bullish divergence nito, for me, it's worth playing. 
So next, we're gonna look at IRC kasi nakita ko to kaninang umaga nung pagising ko para nag-trending siya. Ayan, boog! Wow, gap up. Maganda yung volume. Yeah, volume spike. You have to pay attention to this one. So, kaya po may notch list to. So, EOD, ito yung initial plot ko agad sa kanya. Ina-assume ina ko na ito na yung pang initial resistance niya. And it might gap fill. <laughs> okay. Iga-gap fill niya. Baka hanggang dito or hanggang piso at the worst case scenario. Pero ito yung pwede niyong panuoring levels for for IRC. So, kung maganda man, kung ma-fill niya yung gap nito mamaya, then swerte niyo. <laughs> at gumanda yung closing niya. So, I'm looking at at least it should close above 1.10. Para ma-judge natin na malakas na rally siya. Kasi if ever dun yung magiging close niya, let's say dito kayo pumasok yan. You can get a quick swing trade for Friday. At the best case scenario hanggang 1.25 to 1.30. Well, or kung yun, kung may lumabas pa siyang magandang catalyst, probably kaya ano niya 1.34 hanggang ano pa. Actually hanggang dito sa 1.6 if we're going to consult this special level yung sinasambahan yung mga golden ratio yan ito or ito mamili kayo dyan or pwede rin to yung nasa lazy Elliott retracement natin para hindi kayo pa obvious kung saan kayo magtitipi which actually makes sense din sa price action kasi may parang mini may mini resistance din dito so galing ng retracement na to no? tagasabi so yun yun lang yung ano natin for IRC so last na tayo before I end this charting session Please do hit subscribe if you want more of these. And follow my Facebook page kasi nagpo-post na ako ng mga polls eh, often na. So, yun, ISM. Bakit yung pinapaglaruan daw? <laughs> Ang dami ko na magkikita sa FB na ano, yung parang mga may-ari nito. Tinatapon nila yung mga shares nila. But yet, look at the market depth. You guys wanna play this. Oh my God. <laughs> Pero, yeah, technically speaking, guys, mayroon talaga siyang play. Actually, if this were me, I'll just wait at the break of two. <laughs> Para sure. Pero kasi meron din mini resistance dito at 2.8. 2.08, I mean. Saka yun, no, tinan nyo itong parabolic star. It's about to shift to uptrend kasi currently naka-downtrend siya. So, sa mga nakalaro nito intraday for the week. So, congrats sa inyo, guys. May nalaro kayo. <laughs> nakalaro kayo dito. Yan, no. Ang ganda ng range, yo. Swerte ng mga nakasalo at 1.8. I think I mentioned this in my previous charting session. Ngayon yung safe, ano, safe entry kung gusto nyo talaga siyang laruin. And if we're going to plot again the lazy Elliott retracement for this one, this was my initial plot. So you observe saan siya nag-bounce off. Look at that golden ratio, guys. Ayan o. Kaka't yung mga packers. Ayan o. Puti ko. Wow. Bounce. Diba? Ganda ng bounce. Pero kung dito niya lang tinitingnan na tayo niya na masyadong ingay, kunwari gusto niya lang pasukan dito at 1.8, siguro by next week kaya niya mag-above to. At the best case scenario guys, kung may magandang catalyst tong ilalabas, yung, yung catalyst lang na nakita ko yung nagkakalat sa FB na yung office ng dito or something, basta may nabasa kong article na ganun. Feeling ko na hype lang mga tao dun. So, ayun. Ayun, ito na yung aabangan yung level. So, just to be on the safe side, if you enter that 1.8 exit at 2, that's probably your first TP. 2 or 2.10, kayo bahala. And sa mga medyo malakas ang sikmura na mag-hold ba, probably at around 2 point, ano to, 2.40 to 2.6. Yun yung best bet nyo dito for ISM. Nevertheless, ayun, magandang upside siya. But if it it shit hits the fan, ito nang aabangan yung levels below 1.75 which is these levels over here mga 1.3 to 1.50 something ayan so there that wraps up my charting session for today i hope you guys picked up something at may natutunan kayo and please do subscribe if you want more of these and yeah, follow my facebook page as well and this has been your boy alex corner from the trading comedy and i wish you luck in all your trades paalam paalam hmm.